to Thank you for being a volunteer for concessions tonight. My name is Jeff Roser. I'm the president of the Briar Woods Athletic Boosters Club. And I'm here to show you how to use the electronic payment devices for concessions. Now first, it's very important that you separate the roles between whether you're handling the money, like the credit cards and the cash, or whether you're delivering the food. We need to keep those roles separate for health reasons. So establish those roles at the beginning of your shift and then stick with that. Now, second, we do accept credit. We also accept Apple Pay. And we do that through our Square account that's available on these devices. So when you come into concessions, you're gonna see a, a few of these devices there. There's a couple of them in the concession stand. The one on the left is a tablet and it has external readers on it. So if it's off, you will turn it on. The screen is locked. You'll open that screen. The, the passcode is four nines. Click OK. Brings you to the home page. From here, you're going to find the square icon. That's an app, the Square app. You're going to press that and it's going to open up. Now, if it doesn't open up to the Favorites tab, if it's over here on a keypad or in the library, just tap right there on Favorites. That's where you want to start um, to, uh, to figure out what the order is. Now, we have icons here representing all the food. The cost is already calculated in here. So let's say somebody comes in and they say, I want one water. Um, I'll take a ring pop. Uh, I'll have a piece of pizza and a hot dog. Now, when you tap on those things, it is adding those things automatically to the sale. So now you can say review sale and it brings that up. Now, if the person's like, you know what? I don't want that hot dog. Oh, no problem, sir or ma'am. Just swipe and the, and the hot dog comes off. Or if they want another one, um, uh, yeah, you, you could click on the item and you can say, I want two waters and I save and it will automatically figure that out for you. And then it sums the total right here at the bottom. So if the person's ready to go, you tap charge. It brings you to this page. And uh, from here, they can swipe or tap on the uh, on these square reader devices or on the tablet, if it's cash, you can type ca tap cash or, or well, you can tap the predefined amounts or you can say custom, say they give you a different amount um, and it will, you put in the amount they give you, they hit tender and it will, it will tell you what the change is and then you can complete the transaction. So once it swipes the credit card, you'll get, a, you'll get an approved message on there and you're done with that, with that transaction. Now for the other reader, this is a square terminal and it's all built into one device. So this, the power is over here on the side. It pops up. It's going to open up right to the square app. There is no other interface on here. So again, you should start in the favorites view that has the icons. But if you're in a different spot, it doesn't look right. Just tap on favorites at the top and you'll get where you need to be. Same situation. I'm going to have a Gatorade. I'm going to have two hot dogs. I'm going to have a piece of pizza. Review sale, same situation. I don't want the pizza. I can delete that. I'm ready to go. I hit charge. Now here, you would hit confirm and pay, and then it's going to prompt for the credit card where you can tap or swipe or insert. It actually has all three. So tap, slide, or insert on these devices. The other readers have the same thing. So once you do that, you're going to wait for it to say approved, and then you're good to go. Now, if, if you're going back to cash on this device, you just go back one and you have to pick cash here. So it's a little different than the tablet and it's the same thing. So the order's $20 or $9. If I give a 20, I put that in there. I say tender and it's going to tell me that I need to give them $11 and change out of 20 and then I'm going to get the approved. So we do want you to log cash transactions this way. It helps us with our inventory and figuring out the total sales for the day. Now, when you're done with your, sh and then you, I'm sorry, and then you would hit new sale, it brings you right back to the favorites screen. When you're done with your shift, all you need to do is leave the devices plugged in. They automatically time themselves out and of course they will charge themselves if they're plugged in. So thanks again for being a volunteer tonight. We really appreciate it. Have a nice day.